Hello, in this tutorial we'll be learning how to uh, update your EDS file and GSD file into codices. Okay, so first of all we need to get the files. Right. In our example, I will be getting the files for my uh, the device I'm interested in which is the uh, ABR series barcode reader. So go to the relevant website and then if you look for the devices, yeah and downloads you should actually see like you can download the relevant GSD or EDS file make sure you have the right one so once you download it uh, you can get it somewhere here okay so I already pre-downloaded it make sure if you open it up for the EDS file you will have like EDS file for GSD uh, they will have a .xml file that means you got the correct file okay so now when you are ready open up your uh, codices project go to on tools package device repository okay then over here install and you just need to fill in the link to the devices okay okay and then for example the eds file once i add it in you'll get uh it will go over here uh, let me check ah see it's over here my banner abr file okay so now similarly for your eds file you just need to install and then go to the file that you're trying to use open it up and you'll go in okay just install the relevant EDS file for the ED device and just load it in and you can just close okay so for example in this project I can add my device and you can see I can add my ABR barcode reader as a Profibus network okay uh, with the relevant the relevant uh, variables uh, being defined out okay so uh, just for the sake of the show let me we can check it will be the same for Profinet okay You can see my ABR seven thousand and my ABR three thousand is here, right? And if I see, if I further define it, yes, already broken out. What are the objects that I want? I am interested in, like my output and my inputs. Okay, so this is the uh, general way of doing this, of adding your device. Another way, especially for some of the third device, uh, for some devices, is you can actually download it in a codices package. So, go to the website. For example, I am interested in like a, a PLC called the TX seven hundred D. So, their package is actually comes in a configuration file. Choose the one that you are actually interested in. Okay. Like I'm using codices SP sixteen, so I'll download the one for SP sixteen. Okay. Uh just to for the info, they are usually not very backward compatible. Okay. Usually. So it's best always to download separate ones for the environment you're using. Once you're downloaded, you can extract it out and it will come as a dot package file okay and if there's a readme you read the readme <laughs> okay so just for trial run through I'll run the package file you can see what goes on oh okay <laughs> Oh well, okay, that's the end of the tutorial. Thank you, and have a nice day.